guys and gals, it's Red, your friendly neighborhood tool bear, back again here in the Den of Tools. And today, again, we are talking air compressors. Okay, we're quietly talking air compressors, because they're really quiet air compressors. Anyway, in, in a loud setting, they seem whisper quiet, but when you're in a really quiet shop, yeah, you can hear them. They're, there's nothing stealthy, per se, about it, but they sure are easier on the old fuzzy ears, if you know what I mean. And what we're looking at here is we've got the Fortress air compressor from Harbor Freight. This is the new tippy top of the line uh, compressors. You know, the baseline are the central pneumatic and then you've got the McGraw compressors, you know, right there in the middle. That's kind of the Goldilocks zone. And if you're looking for quality, if you're looking for something nicer, then we've got the Fortress compressors. And they, this is their two gallon, 1.2 horsepower, 135 PSI, ultra quiet, oil-free professional air compressor. You'd be surprised when you get up to these higher end small compressors, the really quiet ones, they're all oil-free. I know we all grew up hearing that, you know, the oil-free ones were loud and they made a racket and yeah, yeah, they shook all over this. Man, these things are a pleasure to deal with. Let me tell you what. So we got the Fortress here. It's listed at 189, but you know, they're always gonna coupon around on it. So the real coupon price around this is about 160 right now. Now it's going against in this comparison, the the champion, if you will, of the small quiet compressors that a lot of tradesmen use, and that's the Quiet Flow Air Compressor series. Now, this is from Cal Air, and California Air is well, technically it's California Air Tools, sorry. But anyway, cat there. Uh, they've got a whole slew of air compressors and all these different lines and it makes it really kind of awkward to compare you know apples to apples so this was about as close as i could get yeah this is a 1.6 gallon they do make one that is a two gallon but the problem with the two gallon is that it lacks all the other features it's and it's more expensive it's in their ultra super secret quiet you know line of compressors so if i compared it against that people would be saying well why don't you have all the same you know features and if I compare it against this, they're like, why aren't you using the bigger tank? So it was six to one, half dozen the other. Anyway, enough of the bear jawing. You know, let's jump into it, shall we? Now let's do a quick walk around on the fortress. There we see the front. We got an air valve up there. We got the two dials. Here's the side. We got the cord. You can see the, the switch there. We go to the back. We got the full roll cage there. That's really nice. It helps with picking it up if you want to use two hands. And here on the other side, we got the other air valve. You see there's one on the front and one on the back. A really well put together machine with nice solid rubber feet there helps it from skittering around helps with the noise dampening also now we get the sound meter going and we got the inrush meter going here it's like 15.4 in inrush That's a tire I fully deflated. There's, it's showing no pressure by the air gauge. I mean, obviously it still has some air in it, but it's, it's, you know, it's for all extensive purposes, it's flat, as flat as it's going to get on its own. So let's say using the tank, can I fill it up or what can I get it to at the very least? That is about 22 and a half. All right, now we'll do a walk around on the cat. We got, uh, this one has both the air valves on the front. It's, uh, it's just not as finished a product. You can see the grip there on the top. It's just kind of like an afterthought. There's no roll cage protection on the back. The uh, air valve, the air inlet there is just sitting there on the side. It can get knocked off. It just feels like a, a less finished piece. And then let's talk about those feet. I mean, one's already broken off already. They're like little suction cup things. I don't get that. And here I'm just, you know, calling out the differences there you see in the roll cage. The, the roll cage on the Fortress comes down the front, wraps around the tank, goes underneath, and curls up the back. And as you can see, the large rubber feet on it protect it as well. 
And on the, the California Air, it's just exposed. The whole back of this thing's exposed. If it got dropped, if it, something got dropped on it, it's just sitting right there. And you have the airline sitting exposed on the outside. Now, that's an issue we talked about on the central pneumatic. And we were honest, like, hey, look, on this one, that's, that's an issue. It's a vulnerability. So we're just being, you know, fair is fair here. All right, now let's check fill times and inrush on the cat. Uh, looks like a 16.3 and a uh, fill time of 42.23. All right, same tire test here. Uh, sorry, you're not getting home on that. So let's talk about nail guns. Should run a brad nailer all day long. Should, shouldn't it? If only I had a brad nailer. Where would I find a brad nailer? Oh, Brad. Oh, Brad! Dum, dum, dum. Come on. Don't be like that. You know you want to let me in there. Oh, yeah. Pierce, I just chuckle every time. Somebody was commenting that they wish that Harbor Freight made high flow style valves. I mean, I think he was talking about something like these. I could be wrong. Who, who makes these? High flow that, I think this is Merlin. Where do you buy these? Can't think where you buy those. I know, I'm being an ass. I'm on this new diet, it makes me cranky. <laughs> All right. Let's start off with the champ here, okay? Let's, you know what, I'm not gonna go into the side because the side is nice and we've, we've done a lot of testing. You see the woodpeckers have been at this. So let's see what we can get here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm trying to keep them all in a line, 10 in a row. Okay, there's one in a row. Sixteen. We're at sixteen. Well, it seems to keep up. All right, you guys ready? We're gonna try this. See how many we get off of this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Well, there you have it. I got to say, I thought the fit and finish, if nothing else, man, the, when you walk right up to it, the first thing you notice is the fit and finish. And the fit and finish on the Fortress is just miles above the Cal Air. Cal Air gives you the impression that it was slapped together in someone's garage, whereas this has a real professional look to it. The grip on that handle is way better. The knobs are better. The, the alignment with the cutouts for the gauges is better. The air hookups are better. The tank, now it's a beefier tank. The other thing is, this tank is aluminum as opposed to steel. That means you don't have to worry about rust. You don't have to worry about condensation. You don't have to worry about that thing, you know, popping on you. So it's, you know, everything about the design is better. As you saw, it's got a, a full roll cage rather than the half roll cage like you, you see on the Cal Air. You know what else I didn't point out is this thing's got a spot for cord wrap on the side. Over on the side right there, you can see it. It's got two little prongs built in there so you can wrap the, the power cord up. The Cal Air doesn't have that. I mean, how... How do you just leave something like that out on a portable compressor? It just goes to show, again, more of the design process was put into this thing. I got to admit, it's been rare for me to say that, you know, uh, Harbor Freight's coming out and being the one to beat. But, man, it 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 just built better than, than the alleged gold standard, isn't it? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down below. Why don't you post it down there and... Uh, 
and have your say. Anyway, that's all we got for you today. Be sure to uh, comment and don't forget to throw us a, a thumbs up and, uh, and subscribe. And of course, you know, ring the bell. And also, if you got a moment, join us over at www.denoftools.com, our new forum over there, where the discussion continues. All right, that's all the bear has for you tonight. Take care. Be sure to check back tomorrow. We're going to have mailbag. And on Saturday, we got our, our family live stream. All right, everyone. Stay with me. Shine on.